I found out about Employment Source and the postal contract that we have here during my time in the United States Army. I was a mail clerk for the 82nd Airborne and after I received my traumatic brain injury, I found out I was going to be medically discharged. One day he came in and he said, hey, um, finally got word I'm going to be uh, ETSing, getting out of the military soon. Do you have any openings? He applied, uh, we, I hired him, and Sean started as a general clerk one, learning all of the tasks inside of the uh, official mail operations center. During my transition from the military to employment with service source, it was a difficult time. Uh, due to my traumatic brain injury, uh, I had trouble sleeping, memory, depression, things like that. I had worked less hours actually, and I worked with Mr. Dowdy on that to reduce my hours so that I could facilitate healing. One of the things a lot of our veterans, especially those that have disabilities coming out, they think their disabilities are going to be a hindrance to them, uh, that they are, cannot operate on that, that level that they operated before. And, and getting involved in our programs, they learn that not only can they succeed, but they can thrive. They can definitely understand where I was coming from and what I needed to help move my life along. They had been there themselves and they're more than willing to help me out with that. I think this has been a nice um, segue for Sean coming out of the military, back on base, back with familiar people, uh, seeing people that he had worked with over the years, and it's just been a uh, you know, real good comfort level for him. Good morning, everybody. Welcome to the Fort Liberty Official Postal Center, mail clerk course. At that point, I had progressed pretty uh, steadily to the point where I was beginning to train and teach my coworkers on these systems as they came in. As time went by, he started training, and if I could say retraining my staff here um, on a better business process on how to process mail. At that point, I had also become the fire safety manager for the building, which I took very seriously because it is an important uh, issue, especially when working around all this paper. After which, um, I had progressed in many ways, and I applied to become the base postal inspector, which was a huge career jump for me, and something I really wanted to do after working in the military mailroom. He moved up to um, doing postal inspections, and through the postal inspections, he was seen out on base and kind of recruited to a higher level job on base, civilian postal manager. You always find that you need a sense of purpose or a sense of self-worth, and I found that mine, at least, was helping others and continually progressing. I am so proud of uh, Sean because he has grown uh, tremendously, now leading the way for not only himself, but setting examples and showing others that, hey, if I can do it, you can do it too. He starts out in one position, and that is, a, is the lateral and the upward mobility and the Ability One program. That's what we want to see. Sometimes people say, well, are you preparing people to leave your company? Well, in a sense, yes. And I think it's great that Sean had the opportunity to not only advance a couple levels in his position at the mail facility, Terry could see that Sean had the abilities to do more. And then, yes, ultimately in his last promotion, leaving us, um, but again, still around. So he's kind of the epitome of what Ability One should be. Come in, get trained, figure out what you want to do, and move out into something that's something you really love to do outside of Ability One through the training that you receive in the program.